Hi guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Today's video is a little bit of a time trial experiment on scrapping. Um, I scrap out a lot of electrical stuff uh, that I get in house lots and save the copper wire and I used to just throw the plugs in the bin but I don't like wastage and these uh, all these terminals are brass so they're going to add up to a bit of weight um, but is it worth getting the brass out or should I just keep throwing the plugs in the bin? So uh, we're going to use a bit of bit of free energy, uh, like the recent video I made on on making record bowls uh, using the sun. We're going to help this uh, get the sun to help us uh, pull these apart and just see if it's actually worthwhile on a uh, a labour rate basis. So it's a nice hot day. We'll uh, put these outside and we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's a good day to try this experiment. It's um mid-afternoon uh, a couple of days after Christmas good old Australian hot summer and the temperature reads 41 degrees here at the moment and I think it's about 105 Fahrenheit uh, now these plugs have been out here for about half an hour they're in a, a black metal tray um, black is good because it absorbs the, more of the Sun's energy and puts more heat into these you could use a fry pan or a baking tray um, but these are all quite hot the tray is actually too hot to hold for long most of these plugs are fairly modern but uh, some are older style but uh, they've all certainly warmed up so we'll give this a bit of a go and see if they pull apart more easily being hot all right so I've got a couple of pairs of channel locks here um, a larger pair and uh, a smaller pair so the plugs are fairly easy to grab and hold and with the plastic being soft the pins do really pull out nice and easy um, you get good fairly good leverage on the on the sides of the large channel locks and it doesn't take a lot of strength so we can whip through these pretty easily this way if you don't have a vice but um, a vice is probably uh, another a good option particularly if you couldn't be bothered uh, warming these plugs up in the sun or if you live in a colder climate um, see I've knocked out two there pretty easily um, doing them around about oh, look, probably 15-20 seconds per plug so um, it's pretty quick I don't think there's going to be any way that you could do these quicker so it'll be interesting to see how it works out time wise so if you do have a vice uh, this method works really well you don't even need the the heat or the um, if you live in a colder climate you can certainly still do it this way probably uh, as equally fast as the other method um, now that you see that the wire pulls out of the plugs uh, very easily most because these plugs have been cut from electrical appliance cords uh, they all have a little bit of wire on the end a bit of copper um, so again it's about 15 to 20 seconds per plug allowing a little bit of time to change the plugs over uh, and this will enable us to multiply out and see how we go in, on an hourly rate of course you'd have to um, take into consideration that if you do this for an hour it's fairly monotonous work and it's quite uh, your hands would probably start to ache after a while so the final analysis of uh, this little trial uh, is it worth pulling the brass pins out of plugs now um, there are a few YouTube videos on these on whether it's worth it but none of them really show you the facts and figures uh, most of the scrappies kind of say oh, it all adds up every little bit counts which um, yes it does add up but you need to value your time so here's the facts and figures um, I did about 16 plugs uh, they all come out fairly well it certainly did make a difference that the plastic was warm and it was soft they pulled apart easier uh, but with the vice method it really doesn't matter because you get good leverage so it's not necessary to wait for a 40 degree day so out of about 16 plugs um, I've got all these brass pins some of them are plated uh, they've all got or well, most of them have a, a length of copper on them which you could trim off but look it comes back to value for your time uh, you are probably best just to throw these in the brass as they are so there's just over 100 grams so one tenth of a kilo um, and it took me oh look it was around about 15 seconds per plug uh, I think 15 16 plugs was uh, four per minute so about 
yeah, around about five minutes, I suppose, by the time I swapped the device over and everything. So I've done some maths here. Um, I've written 350 a kilo for brass. That was the last price I knew of. I think it's gone up a little bit since then. 100 grams really just gives you 35 cents worth of brass for five minutes work. Um, so if you did it for an hour, it's 12 fives and 60. Uh, it works out at a measly $4.20 an hour, which is a uh, pittance. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I wouldn't bother. I'm going to keep throwing these in the in the bin. Um, you know, $4.20 an hour. If you've got nothing else to do, maybe. But look, seriously, I, I wouldn't do this if it was 10 bucks an hour. I've got better things to do. Uh, there's good money in, in scrapping other stuff and retailing secondhand stuff and all, everything else I do. So this experiment, I think, has conclusively proved that it's just not worthwhile. Uh, brass price is never going to go up high enough to make it viable. So there you go. I've, um, hopefully I've helped you make a decision. And um, we'll do a few more time trials on this sort of stuff uh, if you're interested. So thanks for watching.